Easy and slow. Bloody hell, there's a... We are, we are crossing now the buses. The bus boat? Yeah. What type of bus is that? Say hello to the bus boat. Well, I thought that's a real bus. Here's Beastie hey, Boys. We're in the tunnel, have you seen? We'll be pushing these boats by hand. say some things have changed but there's still a lot to do. We're already two months behind schedule and we're missing out badly days like today. We've had people walk away because they can't get near enough to to get inside. We should have been back trading on this boat by the end of April. Um, we. The idea was to be in time for the bank holiday, um, so we've missed an awful lot. We've gone past double the budget now. The cost hasn't been as much of a worry as I thought it would. Yeah, we, we kind of saved up and borrowed money to 
to do it, but everything that's been over budget has, has come from income, so we haven't had to borrow more. I hope we can make do with it tomorrow, ideally, although Noise booked a carpenter for a week from yesterday, so that's we're definitely not going to be trading next week. Ah no! <laughs> so actually, I'm I'm my top as we talk about it. Uh, uh, I'm just up. That's what I'm doing right now. As just as I'm f***ing it up, uh, all my all my stuff which is in Hemel, and it's all about vehicles. It's all about f***ing moving stuff. That's the problem. No one has cars in, the, in this town. It's pissing me off. We used to be young, that's the thing we hadn't really taken into account. You know, back in the days when we were moving every fort, every fortnight and dismantling it and putting it back together like every, two, every two weeks, we were in our 40s, we were in much better health and um, we had sort of more young people around us. It's really brought home to us that we've kind of got old while we're doing it. Because we're not only sort of four months overdue on what we thought we'd be time it would take, we're four months of three old men's energy overdue as well. We're not really cut out for this. Yeah. Next day, each day, and you say what's wrong with what I've done. No, I don't think... You came in, you told me what's wrong with everything. I worked midnight doing that. You came in today and you're like, how can it take so long to sound the floor? I'm just feeling a bit like... No, I just... Uh, uh, I'm just conditioned by... Uh, and you're yeah, I'm just here, conditioned so it feels myself. like I'm here alone I just, working. No, you and every now and you come and tell me off. We're all missing our lives and watching everyone else having summer. Um, just going <laughs> all the time still, you know. And so uh, it's we will have earned it. If people like it and it's pretty at the end, we will certainly have worked together. It really doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter to do that neither. No, but it doesn't matter to do the joints like we are spending a lot of time to do that because it's not going to be stained anyway. Right. You're going to do a line somewhere. Somewhere between crazy perfectionism and so, so, so messy that it doesn't look nice anymore. So you can have the, you can have the, 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 the joints and, and the, between the stains, the mark of, of, of my soul, like, like the market. Like, I've never worked so hard in my life. I've never learned so much practically in my life either. It's been a real rite of passage, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I understand who the audience is for this. And that's not one of the things they care about. Why are they arguing so much at the moment? It's difficult to say, because it's a, they, they, they are all anarchists. Anarchism's fine, as long as there's only one of you. 
There's only one of you. you. You can do what you want to do all the time. As soon as there's two of you, one of you is going to spend some of the time not doing something, that they, doing something that they don't want to do. Now, I know what good enough is for them. Yeah, yeah. But not open isn't good enough for them. So I'm beginning to yeah, be yeah, less yeah. precious and more speedy. That's yeah. my thing, you know. Yeah, I just need good. the thing done, so. And I'm sorry I'm tired as well. Pay no heed to me. <laughs> I'm, right, so what I'm, really I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna I'm more. having my period. The, all of these people now rely on this for a living and it becomes more because it becomes successful and it's actually a real living as opposed to being a dream living um, it becomes more important and then the arguments start because things matter That's, that's, that's a mad bloody nut. But anyway, we want it as far from, later when we definitely put it, it'd be as far from the side as possible. Yeah, our two big tires for now would do, but. I used to go on boating holidays. Yeah. And I thought you needed 70 grand to buy a boat, and then my friend bought one for 14 grand. Oh, wow. And then I, I got evicted from my squat, and I asked my mate with the 14 grand boat, oh, can I stay on your boat for a bit? He said, no, but talk to the person moored next to me because yeah. they want to sell their boat. Oh, so it literally worked out quite so well. So I went to look at it, and it was... It was underwater, it completely sunk. <laughs> and um, they asked, they wanted a thousand pounds for it. And I offered them 600 and they took it. I moved into it, I got, I got it floating again. Yeah. But you had to bail it out every eight hours so you couldn't have a lion or anything. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like if you overslept, the water had come up over the floorboard. And then it, it fell apart and sank it's eventually. It literally split in yeah. two. Oh, wow. There is a gap, but... Yeah. Uh, but by then I knew a bit more, so I borrowed some money and bought another boat. Yeah. And I crashed that one and sank it. And um, I'd sunk two boats that I was so paranoid about this one needing maintenance. It's probably the same like if this boat sinks, I just got to like I'm a that. fully registered loser, you know. It's, Plus the rubber, there's no gap, so it's stupid. I think it's going to be Christmas now. It's, um, oh, hopefully not, but it doesn't look like it's anywhere near ready. Maybe we'll never do it. Say what? Yeah, maybe we'll never have any any money or free time and we'll just do this forever. So when, when did he do all this? Just now. Five minutes before you get your ride. But actually four in the morning. I, 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 met, I built that bookcase at four o'clock this morning. The one on wheels at the end. Because I saw that you had to delay. Yeah. It had to be today, wasn't it though? Yeah. Read the chat. Yeah. He cancelled some of the train strike. Pardon? He cancelled some of the train strike. Oh, did he? Uh... I stayed up all night to push it to Saturday instead of Christmas. You know, if there's two of you and you can do a month's work in a day, then three days it's Christmas. Yeah, we've got some horrific nights. Yeah. Yeah, when is Buddy coming back? What do you say? Uh, tomorrow morning. Alright. 
but we still have time to surprise him. Why is Paddy away? Because um, I woke him up at five o'clock in the morning, banging nails in, and um, he got a bit distressed and went home. Paddy said it's a one day strike over pay and conditions, I'm going out in sympathy with the RNT, you're, you're a scab, see you tomorrow. And then he texted an hour later and said it was hard to be calm with you because you wouldn't stop even when I begged with you, when I begged you to, so you were making me get up at 10 to 5 after two and a half hours sleep. I barely do that to save a life, let alone indulge someone's enthusiasm for DIY. You need to <coughs> Seriously though, I wonder if we should give our staff a pay rise. We're doing well and inflation's running at 9%, what do you think? <laughs> To be honest, I felt horrible after talking to you, like I was a bully. I was on autopilot, but I regret being so aggressive. But I replied, I was a bit too driven, I understand it wasn't really you being like that. I honestly thought moving on to the towpass would make it quieter. We have got a long way through the project before we got frustrated and angry with each other. I hope you can forgive my inconsiderate behaviour and we can carry on working in harmony like we always have. I can't face another weekend of apologising for Yong Yan. Noise up for getting the book barge presentable and open for Saturday. We can do infinite tweaking after that. It's the hardest part psychologically because the it's not, it was in our imagination, now it's real. And it doesn't necessarily match, it's like in our imagination, it could be anything. In reality, it can only be what it is. I should have done that different. I've got, we'll keep going the art until it's okay, but it just seems a pity to be putting it on display when it's, half-assed and hurried, unfinished, stomachly tired, I don't know how you are. Yeah, 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 you're tired, but it, it's, it's like, re relax, it's all done, it's ready to work. It's not. It's ready to tidy up and bring the books it's ready to work. What is the good reason? We'll do it now, because yeah. we've all committed and I've already budged up. Well, yeah, so because, that John's because, can move. Because, because, so you can drive off? No, but it well, well, I want to be on my boat. No, so that can have a day off. Well, me too. It feels like it's the part of it that's like my creative thing. I'm like, it's not really for showing to people yet. I'm embarrassed. It's only four, three or four days away from me. Really. And so I think that's why I'm so upset. It feels like I'm embarrassed. Well, I was asking for this two or three more days. I haven't got it. Without the general public walking through this. And you have, what, because you're all, what's going to happen? I'm, I'm at the end of my turn. You're so am I. And the trouble with the internet is that those memes, they go around, they don't go away. They so don't, but there's a lot of people who that's the first view of the book. I haven't had any sleep for the f***ing 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 f***ing
to a different day and failed Interesting. again. Well, something that might help and you help failed you. failed over and over again. Something that might give you an insight into Paddy's feelings is that he, he, he would feel that the fail the book barge when presented to the public tomorrow isn't as beautiful as it could be if he took more time. So John's sanity, this Because he needs his home back so that it's his home, not a bookshop. Do they both disagree with you, then, Noy and Penny? No. Noy thinks you should open tomorrow. Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, them anyway, isn't it? We don't. We're not a democracy. We don't do it by voting. We do it by consensus or the person who feels the strongest about it. I see. So you feel the strongest about it. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, because he could say no, but he isn't, so that's kind of, you know... Yes. Yeah, he could say, well, I'm going home. Yes. But, you know, in a lot of ways, so, I wish he would say that. Like, well, you don't mind if he goes, you mean? No. You don't mind if he goes. Does Noy mind if he goes? And in 20 years, they all came back in 20 years or more. And everyone said how tall they've grown, for they've been to the lakes and the terrible zone and the hills of the Chankly Bourne. And they drank their health and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast. And everyone said, if we only live, we too will go to sea in a sieve to the hills of the Chankly Bourne. Far and few, far and few are the lands of the Jumbanese. Their heads are green and their hands are blue. And they went to sea in a sieve. I've been out at a party all weekend, lost my beard, went to a pirate party, they robbed my beard. You can now get it on the black market. <laughs> uh, I thought more the grey market. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so everyone's happily going along, still being the best bookshop in the world. 
I think John's a very much happier that, that, now that he's on his own boat and it's not a bookshop every day. And Noyes disappeared to France, yeah, in the way that he does all the time. Who knows what happened to Noy? He's that sort of character. <laughs> From my point of view, I still don't think it's, it's, it's not yawning full of books in the way that it used to. And we've still got, all the books had to be taken out for the thing to happen. And it had been 10 years of books building up in there. So we need another few years of, of books to build up before it looks like it's covered in books again. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It, it's, it is still getting bigger. But yes, no, but I think that, that was going to happen as well anyway, yeah. Whether, whether, whether they've gone through that or not. The, the reason why the business is expanding is that it's a good business. Yeah, whether the boat was... Because the boat's beautiful, and yes, we've been, it's been made more beautiful, and it was an extremely worthwhile exercise. But the reason why the boat shop is getting bigger is not because of that boat. That really is partly why it's special. Let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains fly. I want to ride to the rich weather, where it's humid. Here's the new moon until I lose my senses. And look at how those cats have fences. Don't fence me. Till the wrong water, I can't look at home.